Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got another wild week with huge reveals from LEGO Super Mario and Marvel Shang-Chi. New RTD2 and May the 4th promotions. Marvel Disney Plus minifigures, a new Back to the Future DeLorean, and could we be getting LEGO Willy Wonka? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First tip for my want one of those, we've got the LEGO City Ocean Exploration ship for 21% off with Code Ocean. Next over at Kohl's, we've got the LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar for 35% off. Over at Amazon, we've got the LEGO Friends Stephanie Summer Heart Box for 32% off. Plus, they've got a ton of sets 20% off from LEGO City, Star Wars, Ninjago, and more. So don't forget to check out all the links in the description below if you want to pick any of these up and support the channel. There were so many sets revealed this week from LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Super Mario, and Marvel Shang-Chi. So let's start with Star Wars. First up, we've got the new R2D2 with 2,314 pieces retailing for $200 on May 1st. This set is a remake of the 2012 version and is the latest in a long line of Star Wars remakes. But it turns out they're bringing back this really awesome build to celebrate Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary. When we compare the new one on the left with the older model on the right, you can see that there weren't too many updates, but it definitely benefits from a lot of the new parts and some smoother curves. And it definitely feels like a more refined version of the character. And it looks like the part they changed the most was all the curved detail on the head. Just like the original version, this R2-D2 has lots of pop-out functions and can of course do the two to three leg conversion. But new in this model, we've got the pop-up periscope and another removable section that hides Luke's lightsaber. Overall, I'm a huge fan of the set, but as someone who owned the original 2012 version, I'm trying to decide if it's quite different enough to get another one. Though I imagine for many collectors, that printed 50th anniversary brick is enough. This set will be coming out on May 1st to celebrate the May the 4th Be With You weekend. And to celebrate, there's going to be a couple promotions, including double VIP points on all LEGO Star Wars purchases and this free Tatooine Homestead set with LEGO Star Wars purchases over $85. This set continues in the line of micro-scale Star Wars promotional sets and includes a micro-scale sand crawler with a really cool print, plus some microscale figures, plus a small build of the Lars family home and a microscale speeder, and this nice printed 2021 tile. While I, like many, would have preferred an exclusive minifigure, these sets are nice if you've been collecting them along the way. They're also giving away a free Imperial Shuttle Polybag with in-store purchases over $40, plus stay tuned for a VIP giveaway. And if you want to pick up the set and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. Next up, after all the rumors, the LEGO Super Mario Adventures with Luigi starter set was finally revealed. This set contains 280 pieces and retails for $60, coming out on August 1st. The best part, of course, is this amazing interactive Luigi figure, which can be powered on and has all of the same interactions that you might expect, but with all new sounds for Luigi. The overalls for each figure are the same size, so Luigi can wear all of Mario's power-ups. But the updates that they made for Luigi's face and hat really help this one stand out. Plus, according to the box, there's some sort of team-up feature with the two, which I can't wait to see. Just like the Mario course, this one features the starting warp pipe and the Bowser flag endpoint, plus three interactive characters with the Bone Goomba in a walking pose, Pink Yoshi, and Boom Boom. This starter course seems a little bit more elaborate than the Mario one, especially with that large seesaw tower. I'm very eager to see the updated functionality, as we saw a little bit with a new Yoshi functionality in the trailer, but we'll have to wait and see. We also got the reveal of the fuzzy and mushroom platform polybag. While the fuzzy build is the same from the character pack series one, it's great to get a superstar in a cheaper set. Plus that mushroom platform is all new in that orange color. If you want to pre-order Luigi and support the channel, I've left links to all the retailers below, including a couple where you can get that fuzzy polybag as a bonus. In recent videos, we've been talking about the upcoming Marvel collectible minifigure series based on the Disney Plus shows. And thanks to some updated rumors, we know the characters that are going to be included. So if you want to avoid spoilers from the Disney Plus shows, please skip ahead now. You have been warned. First up from Marvel's What If, we're going to be getting Peggy Carter as Captain Britain, which is very interesting because this figure was supposed to come in another set featuring this World War II Iron Man. So we'll have to see what's up with that. Next up, we've got Zombie Captain America, which definitely feels like a no-brainer and would be a pretty cool minifigure. Plus, it looks like we're going to be getting a Steve Rogers Spider-Man as well, and I'm very curious about that one. Next up, we're going to be getting Star-Lord, if Black Panther was Star-Lord. And it seems like a lot of these won't require new molds. And finally, we're going to be getting a version of Gamora as Thanos, which could be really neat. Next up from WandaVision, we're going to be getting the Scarlet Witch herself, which would be so cool to get in this newer outfit. Next, we've also got White Vision, which feels like such a no-brainer for this series. And finally, Monica Rambeau, which I imagine would be in this outfit. There are definitely a lot of other characters from the series that I would have loved to get as minifigures, maybe none more than Agatha. And this one kind of stings a bit. And they almost could have done a whole nother series with all the different eras and outfits. Next, from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we couldn't get the series without getting Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes. And 
it'll be great to get minifigures of both characters in their most iconic looks from the show. But sadly, that leaves many characters like John Walker and Baron Zemo off the table. From the Loki series, we're of course going to be getting a new version of Loki, and I'm hoping we get a new piece for his horns and hair. And it's rumored his accessory could be the frog version of Thor, Throg, which would be super wild. And the final figure in the series is going to be Lady Loki, which may have been teased in the trailer, but I can't wait to find out more here. Overall, I'm super excited about the series, and while there's definitely some characters I think are missing, I just can't wait till these ones come out. And speaking of Marvel rumors, we've been talking a long time about the upcoming Daily Bugle set and all of the cool characters that are coming, from Daredevil to the Punisher to Black Cat, and the latest rumor is Spider-Woman. This character previously was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive in 2013, and I think it'd be great to have a more wide release of the character. And this Daily Bugle set is definitely shaping up to be a winner. Next up in other rumors, it looks like we're going back to the future with a large creator expert style DeLorean time machine, which would be the latest classic movie vehicle to be recreated in this larger scale from the creator expert line. There are not many movie vehicles more iconic than the DeLorean time machine, with its gallwing doors and all of its souped up electronics. And I imagine this one will be able to do the flight conversion and have all the details like the flux capacitor and Mr. Fusion energy reactor. As a huge Back to the Future fan, I'm super excited we're going to be getting this set, and I've loved how they've low-key kept this line going subtly ever since that original Kuso set. And I'm so excited about this one, I may have to go back to the future to see how it all turns out. Next up, thanks to Marvel and a listing on Walmart.com, we finally got the reveal of the two sets coming for the new Shang-Chi movie. First up, we've got Battle at the Ancient Village with 400 pieces and retailing for $40. The main build for this set is this large Chinese-style dragon, the Great Protector, on this blue base. And the final build is quite large and highly poseable. This set includes five characters. Here we've got Shang-Chi, Morris, and Zia Ling, with some reused faces but very detailed torso prints. And here we've got Wen Wu with five of the Ten Rings and this amazing figure for Death Dealer. The other set is the Escape from the Ten Rings, with 321 pieces retailing for $30. Here at the center we have this yellow car which features stickers to add damage, and it can actually seat two minifigures despite being a little narrow at the top. And to chase the car there's two motorcycles, each with unique stickers with that Ten Rings logo. Plus there's two turrets with a disc launcher and a spring-loaded shooter, and a build for a weapons rack. This set includes five characters. Here we've got Shang-Chi, Morris, and Katie with another great print, plus another Wen Wu and Razor Fist with that weapon accessory. Overall, I'm super excited for these new sets, and after the trailer, I'm really excited to see the movie. Next up over at Humble, there's a great new LEGO video game deal with their promotion called LEGO Built to Bundle. For just $1, you can get the LEGO Ninjago movie video game for Steam. If you pay more than the average, you'll unlock four more games, including the deluxe edition of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And if you pay $10 or more, you'll unlock the deluxe edition of LEGO DC Super Villains and the premium edition of LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. You get a great deal and your purchase helps support a charity of your choice. Plus, if you use my link in the description below, you also support the channel. Next up in LEGO Ideas News, there were two more projects that hit 10,000 supporters on the platform. First up, we've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, based on the classic novel. The scene depicted here is, of course, of the chocolate waterfall, and it's so great that they recreated it in so much colorful detail. This would make a really fun, colorful display piece, and it turns out that the chocolate waterfall can actually be motorized. There was definitely a lot of fun attention to detail, and I'd love getting minifigures for all those classic characters. So I'll definitely keep my fingers crossed for this one. Next up, we've got Chitty Flies Again from the classic tale Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This project may sound familiar, as this is actually the second time this project has hit 10,000 supporters, after originally being declined. But it's back again and definitely features some nice updates to make this classic-style car really look amazing. While there's definitely a lot of nostalgia behind this project, it does seem that a lot of these large creator expert style cars don't make it past review, so we'll have to wait and see. Next up for the 10th anniversary of Ninjago, we finally got our first Ninjago reimagined short, called Golden Legend. This short is depicted in a really cool black and white anime style, and we see this unknown warrior walking through a war-torn Ninjago. And this short definitely reimagines the Ninjago stories that we know in a very dark and gritty reboot. And I think there's some really interesting mysterious storytelling. If you're a fan of Ninjago, I highly recommend you check out this short, and if you want to watch it, I've left a link in the description below. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news, and each week I just get even more and more excited about all the amazing 2021 releases. I can't wait to see the R2-D2 set in person, and I'm very curious to see if any other new hidden innovations are coming for LEGO Super Mario. Plus, between Shang-Chi, the collectible series, and everything else coming out for Marvel, it's going to be a really awesome summer. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can
can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click and watch last week's video featuring LEGO Harry Potter summer sets, LEGO VIP space probe, LEGO land sets, and more. And don't forget to subscribe.